session one. What you will learn in the session, by the end of the session, you should understand the typical ownership model on cloud. Private versus public versus hybrid. Then essentials, characteristics or features of cloud. What is hybrid strategy and typical service offerings on cloud infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service. This session will give you brief background about the cloud. So by the end of the session, if your definition right now, if your profile right now is that I don't know anything about cloud, by the end of the session, you will see what cloud is, what are the different offerings and different models, ownership models of cloud. So cloud computing, what is cloud computing? Cloud computing is everything about what I'm talking about, multi-tenant solution provided by a vendor. Automated backups, uptime, service level agreements, maintenance. Elastic, pay as you go, scale up or scale down. Web and mobile access from anywhere. Automated upgrades and modern web-based integration. Cloud co computing offers all these features. Cloud computing is everything. By definition, cloud computing describes a new supplement, consumption and delivery model for IT services based on internet and it typically involves the provision of dynamically scalable and often virtualized resources as a service over the internet. Now often virtualized means OCI, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure is the only uh, cloud infrastructure which also offers bare metal servers, not only virtualized resources. But generally uh, when we say cloud, we offer virtualized services and virtualized resources as a service over the internet. The concept is that vast computing resources will reside somewhere out there and will connect to them and use them as needed. So somewhere out there is typical definition from the end user perspective. But if you work on OpenStack and you know, want to understand how cloud works, that will make you understand that this somewhere out there is scalable, evolvable, a pool of virtualized resources where at one end you keep on adding resources to it and at other end users keep on consuming from it. So at one end you work that means the administrator, the provider works at one end, the uh, consumer connect to the pool. So consumer will never understand what is lying at the back end, what hardware and uh, what resources and how they are uh, provisioned. So this part is the responsibility of the service provider, keep on adding pool to it. And uh, from the other end, the user keeps on consuming the resources, just like a well of water. So you keep on trying, but how many, uh, you know, source and how many uh, inputs are there in that well to feed in water to that pool, to fill that pool, uh, you know, well with water, nobody knows. So that is how cloud computing works. But here in, in cloud, we keep on adding the resources to make it available and to make it appear it as an infinite pool of resources ownership model, we have private model, public model, and community model. And fourth is hybrid. Let's understand what is private. Private cloud, these services are managed and provided within the organization, meaning I create cloud for my own company, for my own employees. For example, HP data centers, that's private, only serving the needs of one particular company, that is private cloud. It gives organization greater control over security and data, which is safeguarded by firewall and managed internally within the organization. 
it can be hosted internally or externally public cloud services are delivered over a network for public use public at large open just like aws and oracle cloud infrastructure google cloud and other cloud digital ocean and others customers do not have any control over the location of infrastructure is the company is the vendor who decide where my resources will be located just like or where the oracle data centers are where uh, aws data centers are they organize the data centers in different regions availability domains and others and then uh, customer decide where i want where my resources will be located uh, because it will make available physically customer do not have access to those resources the cost is shared by all users and are either free or in the form of license policy like pay per user or pay as you go public clouds are great for organizations that require managing the host applications and various applications users use for example oracle cloud infrastructure amazon web services and digital ocean etc community cloud is an infrastructure that is mutually shared between organizations that belong to a particular community that is community cloud community here refer to one specific group of uh, users for example banking i have worked i got opportunity to work with state bank of india uh, cloud where i mean not cloud precisely but yes their model how it works so they have their own private cloud they have their own data center and they use that is a typical specific community so it is an infrastructure that is mutually shared with an organization that belong to a particular community another example good example i can say is nic that is government of india cloud so that nic is again a community cloud because that's not open for public that is a specific community and government community the community members generally share similar privacy performance and security concerns community cloud works at bank government in a country or trading firms these are community clouds a community cloud can be managed and hosted internally or by a third party provider cloud computing characteristics on demand self service ubiquitous network access location independent resource pooling this is what i was referring resource pooling where resources are located irrespective of the location they we keep on adding the resources to the cloud rapid elasticity pay per use hybrid cloud strategy what is that it is basically a mix where we have private and public cloud you know best of the two options are merged together so if you are looking for combination of services provided from public and private clouds then hybrid cloud is for you in a hybrid cloud resources are managed and can be provided either internally or by external providers a hybrid cloud is great for scalability flexibility and security for example erp in private cloud or sales and email on public all these are examples of hybrid cloud strategy major cloud computing services software as a service like if i talk about software as a service i have very good example which i am delivering right now with oracle cloud infrastructure oci and that is uh, dev cs visual builder studio vbs basically in oracle cloud i am using and i am delivering that is just like jenkins where we create pipeline ci cd pipeline we add jobs we you know it's a full automation engine where we add repository and the source code is build integrated build test and tested and deployed so this instance which is given which is provisioned you don't have access to the instance but it is a software which is given to you as a service so you can use that as a service to fully automate your deployment engine your deployment pipeline 
so applications typically available via browser for example google apps or salesforce.com these are all also examples of software as a service then we say platform as a service hosted application environment for building and deploying cloud applications like e2c and microsoft azure platform they are given platform as a service then infrastructure meaning it's your responsibility to manage everything they give you infrastructure like they give you a virtual machine but securing that virtual machine managing the virtual machine installing software on that virtual machine everything will be your responsibility the database for example they give you a database but what you will do with the database how the database security backup and everything will be done that you have to do that will be your responsibility so when they give infrastructure as a service that is utility computing data center providing on-demand server resources like hp adaptive infrastructure as a service rack space s3 or your oci oracle cloud infrastructure generation 2 cloud cloud services management responsibilities who manage what in these three typical models of cloud infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service when we say infrastructure as a service, customizations, applications, platform, and infrastructure. So what is given to you and what is your responsibility? Means here the customer and the vendor, customer and the service provider. Who takes what responsibility out of these major responsibility areas? Customization application platform. Is responsibility of uh, responsibility of consumer or tenant or the customer so customer manages all these things where the infrastructure is responsibility of cloud provider so cloud provider manages this infrastructure that is infrastructure as a service infrastructure here refer to the backend the hardware which is given to you as a service so management of that infrastructure backend is responsibility of the cloud provider when we say platform as a service, then platform and infrastructure is responsibility of the provider, whereas customizations and application is responsibility of you as a customer or consumer or tenant. So cloud provider will manage the platform and infrastructure. Similarly, software as a service. Only customization will be your responsibility as a customer, as a consumer. So customization will be your responsibility whereas infrastructure platform application will be responsibility of the cloud provider so cloud provider manages these things so these are responsibilities this divide who manage what in the cloud coming up next session two will be introduction to virtualization and session three will be compute concepts and fundamentals that's all for this session thank you